pi bonds. Let's consider the nitrogen molecule. There is an electron in each of the three 2p orbitals on each atom. However, when we try to pair them and form three bonds, only one of the three orbitals can overlap end to end to form a sigma bond. The remaining two 2p orbitals on each atom, 2px and 2py, are perpendicular to the internuclear axis, and each one contains an unpaired electron. When the electrons in two of these orbitals pair, their orbitals overlap in a side-by-side -side arrangement and form a pi bond, a bond in which the two electrons lie in two lobes, one on each side of the internuclear axis. Although a pi bond has electron density on each side of the internuclear axis, it is only one bond with the electron cloud in the form of two lobes, just as a p orbital is one orbital with two lobes. And those are pi bonds. Have a great day.